Oh, I, I just thought I'd uh, have a little walk in the rain in the Brecon Beacons, as you do. <laughs> and uh, I'm parked up just on the western edge of uh, the Taliban on us reservoir. And I'm going up the hill there on that side. And um, I just thought, thought I'd show how a ventile jacket reacts when, uh, when it gets wet. So uh, I have I have wore a let's get through this gate. I have wore a, a, a ventile jacket before in the rain. Not this one. Not this one. A different one. And it was single layered. It was the Snug Pack West Winds uh, ventile smock, and it, it it it's not waterproof. They they it doesn't well. It gets more than damp underneath, that's, that's for sure. On the rainy side, if the rain's coming down sort of sidewards, it will get soaked underneath. But the rest of it, uh, especially in a light shower, it'll get damp. So basically, if it gets soaked on one side, oh, don't want to slip. It's going to get soaked all over eventually, unless the, the rain it, unless the rain is short-lived. So, uh, but this this ventile jacket is actually lined and it is waterproof because of the liner. But uh, I just do a short film to see uh, to, sh to show how it reacts really, because it goes all stiff because all the, the fibres sort of tighten up and then it becomes as it can be but before that it'll leak water so uh, for a start well I have waxed I have waxed this uh, jacket but it'll eventually come through uh, but before I before I um, waxed it I took it out in the rain and it does exactly what it's doing now will bead for, uh, earlier on. The water will bead and you're thinking, yeah, all right, I've got a jacket that's waterproof and robust, but uh, it will go through in the end. So uh, I'll just show you now what, what it looks like at the first stage when it's beading. All right, let's see if we can see this. Beading. It's just starting to go through there, like. and it comes off. Tap it, and it's just starting to get stiff now. There you are. I don't know whether you can see that, and I'm winging this a little bit, but it does. It does come off, look. So. That's the first stage, but then it starts to get stiff then, but it's starting to get stiff now. The material stiffens up and the uh, fibres uh, tighten up and then it's, it gets a bit more waterproof. So uh, let's see how it looks later on. Just stopping raining. <laughs> when you want it to rain, it doesn't rain. And when you don't want it to rain, it rains. Oh, I gotta check my map. I've never been up this walk before. So uh, let's have a look.
down here yeah, steep it's very steep oh. it looks like they're gonna build a path to come in up and down here well uh, the sun's come out when I didn't want it to come out and uh, so it's dried my jacket off I've only been out for about about I don't know two or three hours and uh, so I can't really show you now what it's like when it's wet from the rain but I'll have to put it in the stream instead but it stayed dry on the inside in there and this bit here it's all dry and uh, there you go ventile it says single layer for some reason but it's not it's, it's lined it's got a liner so uh, let's see how it goes Okay, so I couldn't uh, I couldn't finish the film yesterday because my camera went all funny in the damp. So uh, I put it through the washing machine last night, and uh, it got dark outside. So I've re-wet it, like you've seen in the bath. And uh, this is what it's like when it's wet. It goes all stiff because the fibres all tighten up. I mean, if you look at that, it's just I don't know whether you can. It's all just stays all stiff, and uh, there's a lot of things on the internet about it. Too much for me to remember, really. But uh, there's a lot of conflicting stories as well. So I'll let you 
read that if you want and uh, make your mind up yourself but uh, yeah it's a really good material it's um yeah, it's really strange it goes all stiff and just stays stiff <laughs> until it dries out again and it goes all nice and soft then but uh, I can't really explain more than that there you go wet ventile my personal opinion if, if, if you're gonna get one of these jackets um, if you get a lined one then it's going to be waterproof like this one it's lined you can see you've seen that but if it's not lined it's not going to be waterproof really it's going to get damp on the underneath so ideally you need to put something waterproof underneath it um, and like a light mac like what i've got on now like this Or something like that you know so uh, and it'll be fine then it's good uh, good jacket for hiking bushcraft fishing bird watching hunting it's got a when it's dry it's got a like a silent uh, sound to it when it rubs or semi silent so uh, yeah there you go it's a bit dry there because the water couldn't penetrate yeah, it's a bit difficult to penetrate it I'm, I'm fiddling about with it because it's so stiff. I mean, look, it's just... It just goes stiff and stays <laughs> as if it's uh, wet and freezing and it's all, the, all the water's frozen on it. But uh, there you go. It's like, like, a, like a canvas, like a thick canvas. So, uh, there you go, I'll... That's all I can say, really. And, uh, yeah, I don't know whether you can hear that rubbing. It's like canvas. Maybe sort of thick. And stiff. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, really good stuff, actually. So there you go. That's the Ventile Smock. When it's uh, wet. <laughs>